I saw this come in and this one kind of caught my eye. This is a nice little Christmas tree jar and it is by, and then we have cute little plushies. Fun stuff, fun stuff. And a, and a Squishmallow. We should all do it. You totally should. He's a hip flamingo. <laughs> Who does it better? <laughs> It is shopping day at the Good Stuff Thrift Store here at 1401 North Decatur Boulevard. Uh, this is where I shop the shelves and come up with my picks for an upcoming whatnot sale and show you everything that we have, well, almost everything, I'll try, that we have on the shelves here. But I shop it as a customer, as if I was walking into the store to shop for things and look for things for resale. So let's get shop done. And of course, this week, all of our Christmas, actually the entire store, except for the vendor booths, will be 50% off. The vendors are still doing 25% off on their Christmas. Uh, but in the store portion that supports the nonprofits, we will be 50% off store-wide. Store-wide, our very first 50% off. Um, actually, I should say that's blue tags. My bad. We have started putting out the new colors. So blue tags are going to be 50% off. So let us get a lucky cart. Oh, lucky cart number two. We still have a lot of Christmas stuff and Christmas is 50% off this week. So that'll be fun. I do love that cookie jar. That was something I had actually purchased long ago for personal use. And then I never ended up going that theme at my house. I saw this come in and this one kind of caught my eye. This is a nice little Christmas tree jar and it is by, what does that say? Bees and Willow? Is that what that says? I think so. Bees, bees, bee and Willow, bee and Willow. So that would only be four bucks. I feel like that might be a really good buy right there. We've still got a couple pieces of the Let It Snow. We sold the big set. This little guy is only $2.99, which makes him only a buck fifty. That's a great reseller item. And Christmas sells all year long, you guys. All year long. Oh yeah, all of the Department 56 stuff will be 50% off this week. So that leaves lots of meat on the bone for resellers on those items. We've got the Christmas vacation items and we have the Christmas story items as well. Uh-oh, Santa, why aren't you turning? There you go. Santa was stuck again. But yeah, we've sold some of it. You can see it's kind of, it's winding down. We've been selling some of the pieces. There we go. Crystal still has several Christmas pieces in here and she is 25% off in her booth. Love little Santa. $14.99 and then he would be 25% off of that. I feel like that's a good buy. Oh, I see some blue. Opalescent. I think she'll be in here to restock this booth. Probably, probably before we open on Tuesday. I betcha she will. All right. We've got another set of dishes over here now. We've got, oh, our linens. Our linen section is kind of exploding. Going to have to get another rack there so that we can hang some more. Oh, look at that pretty, like a christening dress. That looks like linen and vintage. You are Natalie and Fur. Natalie and Fur, hmm, $4.99, wow. 
our kids section is absolutely overflowing we might have to rethink how we set this up because i'm not a big fan of things on the floor especially in the kids department because then kids come in and want to play with stuff so i have to rethink this maybe put a taller like a bookcase here i don't know um, we haven't had a problem yet, but I can foresee this turning into a problem. So it's definitely something I'm going to want to take a look at. But you know how I just don't know why I'm so attracted to these bamboo sets. Look at $4.99. These are going to be $2.50 a set. And they're brand new. Those are good. Like, you could make a little money. I, I think with the last time I looked these up, they were in the $15 range on eBay. So there's some meat on the bone there. Not something I'm going to pick for a Danny pick today, but I did want to point it out because it, it is definitely something you could buy and make money with. You know, we don't even know what we put in all these little baggies. Like, they just get stuffed with the toys that come in, so these could be good little, especially for you whatnot sellers, these could be great little uh, resell bags. $4.99 for, like, an entire bag of little figures and toys like that. Ooh, almost makes me want to buy it. That's a great buy. And then we have cute little plushies. Fun stuff, fun stuff. And a, and a squishmallow. We should all do it. You totally should. He's a hip flamingo. <laughs> Who does it better? All right. I know this has all been kind of redone so I'm kind of excited now I still feel like there's some great value in these little Lolita glasses they're now 550 mm. I might have to look those up and put a little comp up on the screen for you oh they're still in Macarena <laughs> I really do love these pottery mugs every time I walk past this shelf I spot these mugs and uh, George and I talked about them don't know you know who the maker is probably never will i just feel like there's some great value in those mugs i'm actually going to take those over and put those in danny's picks and i'll put those up on whatnot if they don't sell in the store this week some pretty blue bottles i like them oh george spotted this yesterday and talked about it this is a Havlin limoges plate it would be only five dollars this week i would totally pick that up to sell so we'll put that in danny's picks also got some clear glass items if you missed that video it was really great it was actually uh my live on friday so it would be a replay of my live show where i had george the antique nomad going through the store with me which was super fun and super educational and so much, so much happened in that. This is that Kimmy doll. I don't know much about Kimmy doll. Um, this is like a little Kimmy ornament. I guess it's, it's kind of a trendy thing. I just don't, I just don't know enough about it to uh, deal with it personally, but I do know it's like a thing like a thing that's happening we got some uh, green Santas hmm I really do like this plate unfortunately it's still it still has that hairline crack darn it I hope somebody will love it if you want me to run this on Monday in the whatnot sale just leave me a comment let me know I review those comments before the sale just to catch things uh, unfortunately, this little girl's fingers got broken, but she is a, oops, look at that, we covered the mark. Sometimes it's hard, you guys, there's no other place to really put the sticker where it's going to stay on there, but you can see she's a Cyrus, Cyrus, C-Y-R-I-S. She would have been pretty awesome. I mean, she is pretty awesome, but pretty awesomer without the uh, broken fingers. I do love these. These are party light. Unfortunately, the purple is kind of coming off. I mean, it gives it a nice look. They're still very, very functional and usable, but on the resale market might not be worth as much because of that. Because I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Although, 
Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe it's just supposed to look like that because it does look kind of nice. So, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I bought a uh, silver overlay amethyst vase at the antique store the other day because amethyst glass is really popular. This would only be $2, so this is definitely something I would pick up. Oh, look at this cute little teapot with the little wicker handle. No, again, I can't help it. I'm going to have to peel that sticker and see if there's something underneath there. All right, teachable moment. Um, I have no idea who put the ticket on it. We have a lot of volunteers, uh, so this is on me. I need to go back and and just put a sign up, say, please don't put stickers over Mark. So I am personally gonna go ahead and retag this one. Uh, and I can't see, let's see, stand by. I didn't peel it all the way once I discovered that. I wanted to tell you what I found. So it is a KMD Royal Holland. And I am gonna go ahead and put this in Danny's Picks. Uh, it would be three bucks. And uh, we're gonna get that sticker fixed. Yeah, we've got several customers in the store right now, which is really nice. But that is why I'm kind of whispering. Oh, I do love that chicken. So George was saying yesterday, these little uh, 1980s geese are on quite the comeback. I just can't bring myself to buy them, though. I don't know. I think I have like a some bad flashbacks about the 80s geese. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's there. It's a thing for me. But I do like this picture. I do like this picture a whole lot. It is Knoll's Utility Wear. It would be five bucks. I'm going to grab that. All right. It's kind of a little bit of an unfair advantage that I had George shopping with me yesterday. So there's some things that I know are like really super good deals. Um, but I'm going to leave them here on the shelves for others to spot and find as well. Let's see. What are these? Oh, I didn't even recognize that we had these little Lolitas. Little shot glasses. Those are awful cute. This guy caught my eye. Who are you? A black lion statue, we're calling it. It's a resin, but I think it's probably like a take on a famous sculpture of some kind. And I think he's got enough value that that can be one of Danny's picks. Now remember, the cool thing is that you can always let me know in the comments uh, which items you'd like me to pull to put over in the whatnot sale because I can go back through and find those things. This is salad. I'm trying to figure out what this is. It's a red vintage dish protector set. Oh, a cakey's patent applied for. Well, that's pretty interesting, huh? And these are, these don't go with it. This is totally separate, but that's fun. What is that? $16.99. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. That's really fun. Oh, look at we got baggies full of ribbon for $3.99. Lots of craft supplies if you're a crafter. Come on down. LED indoor planter. What is that? Huh. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, what are you? A little Canadian mist imported. $1.49. That's an interesting glass. I kind of like that. Let's see. Got some red, white, and blue going here. <laughs> Got our little ocean sea here. Like I have some real ones of these now. 
They're fascinating little creatures, actually. Oh, how cute is that? What would this have had sitting on the sides? Huh. It would have had something, maybe some salt and peppers? Some large salt and peppers? $3.99 on that one. Gourmet rolling pin stand. That's cool. I like that. I don't have a gourmet rolling pin, but I like that. All right. Lots of craft supplies, guys. Lots of craft supplies here. It's not really my niche, so I, I don't generally dig too hard into them, but it's definitely something I could do on a Monday whatnot sale. If you want me to go through the crafting supplies, I am happy to do it. Just let me know down in the comments the kinds of things you want me to sell on Monday. And that's what we will do. And then all of this, all of this stuff here in the main part of the store, all of these items benefit our nonprofits. All right, this is the guy stuff. It's not an exciting section for me. But I want to show it so you all can see it. Because, you know, you never know. Might be something exciting here for you. What are the... Oh, tent stakes. Tent stakes. Oh, I feel like a little organization might need to be done here. Because I'm just like that. <laughs> I've got to merchandise my own store. Hmm. What else do we have? Suitcases. Still got that mailbox back there. Lots of stuff. Oh, an Atari flashback. That's very cool. Oh, look at this nice punch bowl set. It would be 15 bucks this week. Got the Hershey. Oh, so these plates. So I looked at these last week. Um, I did put the other ones into the Danny's pick. So these also, these plates will sell for in the 10 to $15 range. And we're selling them for $16 for six plates, actually $8 for six plates. So there's definitely some meat on the bones with the, those Gary Patterson cat plates. Definitely, definitely. Got lots of these reproduction skeleton keys. I might run some of those on Monday. So this is my personal booth up here, my boutique, and I announced, uh, I think, well, depending when you're hearing this, I announced it yesterday that I am doing 50% off of everything up here on my stage. Now, George bought a piece from me. This is a little German, little uh, German pottery vase. I have it at $44.99, so that would make it... Oh, math, Danny, math, like 22 bucks. Um, George liked this piece too, said he hadn't seen, he thought it was Spanish at first. He hadn't seen quite anything like it. Now this is, you know, my curated items and there's some larger items up here. Um, but at 50% off, I think you can definitely find some deals. In fact, this is one, like, I totally would pick this up if I found it at half price of $28. So it's $14. So mid-century and so cool. I'm going to put him over in Danny's picks because I love him. We've got the little Santini sculptures here. These guys are really good to resell. He's, um... Oh, this is, oh, didn't I have, oh, thorn boy is over here. He's pulling a thorn out of his foot. So this is just like a Greek god. These are all uh, after some very, very famous sculptures that were like the real big thing exists. Um, this one is not a Santini. I don't think it's signed something else that I can't make out. So there's her. And then, are you a Santini? No, rugger, ruggery? Ruggery, made in Italy. And then this one is the thorn boy. It's alabaster. 
Yes, I've got him at $49.99, so he'd be $25. $25 on that one. A little, I believe this is Bristol glass in a uh, rose vase, and it's hand painted. So this one would be 15 bucks. I could definitely run that. I'm trying not to have to ship too many like extra large pieces, but. So this carnival glass piece is a marigold. It would be 1750. And it's got a nice daisy pattern, did I? Yeah, I might, no, it doesn't look like I identified this one when I was doing it. Sometimes I just run out of time to do the digging. I just don't have enough hours in the day, but I always do try to identify patterns when I can. I love these rose candle holders. I've got some more furs. I've got some Costa Boda. We've got some early American pattern glass. We've got some trolls. I have quite the variety up here. Little, uh, I don't exactly know what material he is, but he's got a, he's got a bit of a shine to him. I don't know if you can see that kind of coming through. It's kind of cool. And then we've got, um, it's Murano style. I do not believe this one is a Murano, but they still sell tremendously well, even if they're not actual Murano. We've got some brass dolphins. Yes, you can tell that I love my ocean stuff very, 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 very much. And look at this guy. Absolutely gorgeous, controlled bubble, large sphere. Oh, I see some empty spaces on the shelf. That means stuff is selling. Stuff's a selling. I've got mugs and plates and barware. We've got the E.T. mugs. E.T. phone home. I am getting ready to bring in a lot more stuff up here. That's why I'm running the 50% off because I really need to clearance this stage and bring in more stuff. Huh, Noah? Noah got a new jacket. What? You wait. You got... You got fuzz. You got fuzz on your face. There you go. <laughs> this jacket gets dirtier faster than the old one. Oh no, that or you just see it faster. It's probably from go karting yesterday. That well, could be. Could be from your go karting. What do you think of him? I think he went on a trophy. So he was probably the top of like a best in show or best in breed trophy. It's a collie. These would be seven fifty. It's kind of nice. You getting ready for your sale? Yes. Yes, I am. Cute little tiger. All right, I've got some large pieces. I generally used to put in my antique mall booth the things that were a little bit more difficult to ship. That That is a little bit of an issue uh, up here in offering this stuff, but we're in-house on the shipping now, so not quite as bad and there's fun little stuff like art pottery pieces this is signed Laura Laura lace almost looks like that huh it's an interesting interesting mark it's a Las Vegas artist hmm ten bucks ten bucks I think, you know what, I'm going to put that over in Danny's Picks. All right, I've got my little collection. Now, I am not running these on this week's Whatnot Sale. I like to put them on the Danny shelf of Danny's Picks for about a week. Whoops! To give my local reseller friends also a chance to come in. Uh, it wouldn't be fair if I just sold everything, you know, before the store even opens on Tuesday. So I'll show you what is going to be in tomorrow's sale. Uh, that was the picks of last week. And of course, anything else, you leave me a comment and tell me you want me to sell. Uh, but let's go over here. Over here. So these are 
the picks from last week that I am going to be selling in this week's whatnot sale. Um, so we've got some art pottery pieces, the wood cherry bowl. Uh, we've got coasters and beautiful little plates, some glass, um, more art pottery, the cat dishes, the bunny dishes, Carrie's little chicken friends here, the cute little porcelain salt and pepper shakers, the children's patchwork quilt, the little plastic vintage Jesus on a stand, and then, of course, whatever else we decide to throw in the mix, but those were from last week, so now I will move these to a different place and then these next items will be in next week's sale if they don't sell here in the store so if you're local and you're a reseller this makes it really easy you've already seen me do the research for you you can come in and snag these items and turn around and resell them which is one of my missions carrie hasn't been in her room since i brought this in here but you might have seen me buy this at the antique mall last week uh, I just stuck it here in her room for her to come in and discover it. And then I'll tell her Merry Christmas. So I am looking in Carrie's room for something to go add to my picks. Now, I know she's 25% off of her Christmas stuff. So maybe we can find a little Christmas dealie. But I also know Carrie does not mind if I pull any particular item and sell it on whatnot either so if you see something in here say uh yes please pull that i think though i'm gonna grab this little owl off her tree because i happen to know owls sell any time of year and he's a particularly nice one so i'm gonna take him over and put him in the danny pics and let's find a cute christmasy thing here in harleen and will's booth I like this little Odagiri music box with the little snow bears. I think that is going to be my pick from this room. And be watching for Tiffany to be running whatnot sales from her booth. I think she did her first one here. Uh, that was, what day was that? That was yesterday. Was that yesterday? Yes, it was Friday. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm losing track of the days. Uh, but watch for her to be doing sales right here from her booth where you can tell her the items that you want her to sell as well. Uh, I think I'm going to get everybody doing that because that way it isn't just me having to work out how to sell their items because I can't pick lower starting prices for them, whereas I can do that for my items. But if they're running their sales, then they can pick those low prices. Oh, I didn't even see this cookie jar she brought in look how fantastic he is oh my gosh i love him wow yes so all right what can i pick out of here i don't really want to take the nativity out of the glass here but you know i'm a i'm a big advocate of nativity scenes so um i would have to say the nativity would be my pick in tiffany's room all right noah's ringing up one yeah. Last thing, or closing out the register, and we're calling it a day. Merry yeah, Christmas to all. that's it. We're done. Until we'll be open. We'll be open Tuesday. But first, before I do that, <laughs> let me tell you everything I put in my picks, the cost, and what its value is on the resale market. That's coming up right now. Then I'll give you more info about what's happening this week at the Good Stuff Thrift Store.
put my lucky cart back. And as I do that, I will tell you, uh, first, we are located at 1401 North Decatur Boulevard. Uh, we are right behind Pepe's Tacos and the Beauty Supply Warehouse and the Family Dollar is in the same center. So they have better signage than we do right now. But if you pull in that parking lot, you'll find us. And uh, we're gonna run. We're gonna run 50% off of blue tags starting this week. So blue tags, 50% off, and everything up on my stage is gonna be 50% off. So with that, not this though, I'm buying it. <laughs> with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. Buy things. Make it fun. <laughs> All right, Christmas morning. I think this is the most presents they've had under a tree in a long time. Oh, 310 more days until Christmas? Or until Halloween? Oh, till Halloween. She's already, she's already counting down to Halloween. I love it. I love it. All right, here's what we ended up with for a tree. We've got, I have children over here battling with the, um, with the wrapping paper rolls. <laughs> ah, my little bird that I bought. We got the peacocks on here, a few little critters, but we just went simple this year. Simple tree. And now we're gonna open the presents. Daisy's, Daisy's toy is a success. She likes it. <laughs> All right, the aftermath. What'd you get, Noah? Coffee maker. <laughs> you got a fancy coffee maker. I can make cold brew. Rachel's hiding. Rachel, what'd you get? A guitar. She got a guitar. Don't what'd, hide behind Daisy. What'd you get? I got a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. I got my plates. Hee hee. Peanut, what'd you get? <laughs> I know, I think the dogs are the ones that made out. Hi, Ozzy. Ozzy snuggled up here in my lap with his little um, lamb chop toy. Here, right. Did you, yeah, did you George yours? Okay, yeah, I know. You're very hard to see on camera, Ozzy. Daisy, what'd you get? What'd you get, Daisy? Daisy, where's your cactus? Where's your cactus, Daisy? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You can make cappuccinos, lattes, over ice. <laughs> She's trying to uncover Rachel. No. <laughs> All right. Merry Christmas, everyone.